Hi, let us discuss today the passing away of Bapu. Written by Nantara Shagal. Nantara Shagal is one contemporary Indian female writer who contributes in literature written in English. And her fiction, Reach Like Us, received Sahitya Academy in 1986. In this story, we would get the memoir of Gandhiji. And the text is itself an extract from Nantara Shagal's memoir, Prison and Chocolate Cake. This Prison and Chocolate Cake was written in the memory of Gandhiji and the before and after incidents related to Gandhiji. And in this text, we also would get a kind of personal sense of loss of the author. Right. And a collective grief, the image of the collective grief of Indian people losing their father of nation, Gandhiji. So let us come to the text directly without wasting any time. I was having tea at home on the evening of 30 January 1948. So the speaker, the narrator was having tea. She was drinking tea at her own comfort place, her home on the evening of 30th January 1948, just one year after the independence of India. At that time, suddenly she received a call when I was called to build the house. At that time, she was called to build the house by an urgent telephone. So someone called her from build the house asking her to come immediately because Gandhiji had been sought on his way to a prayer meeting. Why? Why she was called? Because Gandhiji is no more. Gandhiji had been sought on his way to the prayer meeting. When he was going to the prayer meeting to attend the prayer meeting, someone had sought Gandhiji. I was numb with shock as I got into the car. When the narrator, when the speaker was getting into the car, she was, she was completely moved. She was completely turned by the news. And she could not even believe that this kind of thing can happen. The person who helped India to become uh, an independent nation. Can this kind of person whom the entire nation uh, takes as the father, father figure, can he be murdered? Can he be killed? So this is something that one can't believe. Though Gandhiji had a number of enemies, a number of rivals, the opposition, right? But uh, it is certain that someone would be, would be very much shocked, someone would be very much uh, suffer in the stoic effect when he or she would receive the news that Gandhiji is killed by someone on his way to prayer meeting. Okay, when our narrator reached the Birla house, Gandhiji was surrounded by, Gandhiji was uh, completely covered by the crowd right and the crowd were the crowd was of his followers and the relatives right there was silence in the room as gandhiji breathed his last at that place we know that in good culture the religious places and the place where a good reputed person takes his last breath that place must be kept silent, must be kept quiet. So when she received the news, she went to the Birla house and when she reached Birla house, she saw that the place is completely quiet. Words of Bapuji's death had spread through Delhi like a flame fanned by wind. Now here we can find one imagery. All right, the image of wind and at the same time the simile is used. Okay, so the narrator is comparing the news, the spreading of the news as the spreading of the fire, right? The rapid a fire can spread from one place to another by the help of wind. The news of the death of the father of the nation Gandhiji spread throughout Delhi and the nation just like the fire immediately. Okay. Sad groups of men and women had collected around Birla house. And from every corner of Delhi, people came to see the death further. 
द डेथ गांधी जी ओके आउट ऑफ एवरी विंडो वन कुड सी अ ब्राउन ब्लर ऑफ फेसेस आउट ऑफ एवरी हाउस वन कैन सी दैट एवरी वन इज पीपिंग आउट ऑफ द विंडो एवरी वन इज एक्साइटेड वॉट हैपन हाउ दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग कैन हैपन इन इंडिया राइट द फादर ऑफ द नेशन हेल्प हेल्प इंडिया टू बिकम फ्री दिस मैन इज नाउ किल्ड ओके सो एवरी वन वॉज सरप्राइज मोर और लेस सो एवरी वन वॉज पीपिंग आउट ऑफ द विंडो दैट इफ यू कैन गेट मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द डेथ एंड द डेथ इज नॉट अ सिंपल डेथ नॉर्मल डेथ द डेथ इज वन मर्डर राइट दे डिड नॉट मेक अ साउंड बट नो वन इज मेकिंग अ साउंड एवन दी एवरी वन इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम द स्टोई के फैक्ट राइट सो देर वॉज एन अनचुरल साइलेंस सो द साइलेंस द क्वाइटनेस वॉज अनचुरल बिकॉज एवरी वन वॉज एवरी वन वॉज मूवड सो मच दैट दैट पीपल कुड नॉट इवन थिंक कुड नॉट इवन आस्क सम ऑन दैट हाउ because they were surprised how is it true or not so they could not even believe that news is true or not it was as if time stood still for those few minutes so for few minutes as if everything stopped the clock had stopped right the people were too stunned to speak in the beginning so they were so surprised that they could not even express their grief their surprise their stoic effect right later they clamored widely widely what is the meaning of clamor clamor means you can see here demanded loudly so they uh, started crying they started shouting they started questioning widely now the image you can see that the image of wildness is used right so they became so much excited they they started questioning they started shouting they started crying screaming they jostled one another in a stampede to break into the house so everyone wanted to see the lost father the dead father and they wanted to come inside the room where the body of gandhi ji was on the floor they they count a little when it was announced that the that they would be allowed to see gandhi ji before the funeral so everybody got a kind of relaxation when they came to know the news that everybody would be allowed to see gandhi ji before the funeral so uh, this news uh, so lest the people a little bit when one is faced with the shock of a loved one's death one whimpers what will become of me now that he has left me now in india in everywhere people lament when they lost their own dear people right so people usually say that what would happen to me because the peep the person who is now dead uh, who, who is now no more now was a person to care about me to take care about us to look after us but the person is no more so what would happen to us right so the dead person right is lamented right this was surely the question uppermost in the mind of the mourning people the lamenting people were asking to themselves that what would happen to the nation because the person who helped the most to get india freedom is no more they looked like lost children so they were completely lost they could not find a way out for that because this is something not to uh, make up right we can't make up the loss the person is very much significant and he is called the father of the nation so this is something that is a big loss to the country to the people to, to the children children means the citizen of india it was the question in many of our hearts as we sat still shocked and unbelieving we listened to the broadcast telling the people of india that their bapu was no more now in india the word bapu means father so in every news channel in every radio podcast telecast everywhere people were saying people were announcing the broadcasting was saying that your bapu your father is no more that means gandhi ji is no more right so the news spread everywhere in india come to the unit 2 gandhi ji's funeral was to take place the day after his death तो 
uh, it take right it uh, it is usual that it would take one day to let the people have a look of gandhi ji so almost after one day the funeral took place hours in advance people lined the route the funeral procession was to follow so for hours people started waiting on the road right on the route by which gandhi ji was about to be taken for funeral padmashi mrs naidu's daughter spoke for us all when she said simply we will walk right so padmasi who is padmasi mrs naidu's daughter and she said that we would work with gandhi ji now work with gandhi ji this is a very significant line because when gandhi ji was alive he used to work right because he thought that working is the work of a common people right a common person can't hire a car can't go by some luxurious uh, travel or uh, or vehicle right so the common people can only do work so gandhi ji himself never preferred to travel in cars in luxurious vehicles right so he used to work right miles after miles so the freedom fighters at that time the supporters of gandhi ji they had experience to work with gandhi ji so working with gandhi ji was a very proud thing right so padmasi also uh, pleaded to work with gandhi ji for the last time when it was the funeral journey of gandhi ji it is the last time we shall be working with bapu so we can get a last chance to work with the father of the nation the father of every indian that is gandhi ji so that was the last chance for everyone so our padmasi wanted to work with bapu it was an agonizing work but this work was not a happy work not a uh, jolly work but it was a sad work right thousands silently watched the procession everybody was uh, very much shocked and sad so they were just watching the procession silently bapu lay on an open truck covered with flowers so the dead body of gandhi ji was decorated with flowers and uh, it was kept on a truck open truck so everybody can see the dead body thousands of people wept everybody was weeping at that time trying to touch bapu's feet so the crowd was so much excited that everyone from that crowd wanted to touch the feet of bapu to get some kind of blessings from bapu for the last time it was impossible to move in the thick crowd so it was so much population at that time right uh, people gathered in so many number that it was impossible for others to move in that thick crowd okay as i moved forward slowly i understood i was not merely in the my meets of grieving people okay now when our narrator moved forward slowly uh, she understood that the crowd was so thick and she was amidst she was in the mid of the sad people the people who were suffering of sorrow this was even more than the funeral procession of india's beloved leader so it was not only the procession of india's beloved leader but someone with whom everybody is emotionally connected and the person who is so simple who is so sacrificial right throughout his life he never wore luxurious clothes he always worked so he is completely connected with the ground root people right and the working class people see also dedicated uh, his uh, entire life gandhi ji dedicated his entire life for the sake of common people i was among people for whom working with bapu had a special meaning now working with bapu is not just a uh, work but it definitely had some special meaning right so it is a noble work for the writer we had worked with bapu over the raw, uh, rough and smooth of india's recent history so it was a long journey so see had been working with bapu in the freedom struggle at the time of freedom okay so 
they saw the up and downs all right the uh, bad days the rough and smooth days okay and they all contributed in the freedom fighting of india so they saw the struggle okay so working with bapu is not just working with bapu but it is supporting bapu it is supporting the ideologies of gandhi ji the gandhian ideas and at the same time it is contributing towards the gandhian philosophy right we could not now except the fact that the man who had led us over many difficult paths was never going to work with us again now the leader who led difficult uh, enterprises uh, difficult uh, uh, di- 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 difficult we can say movement okay that person is no more and he would never lead them m- anymore all right so the guide the coach okay the father the sire is no more so the guiding figure is no more so this is something uh, that can create one hollowness in the people right so that is what the writer is suffering in her mind that is the hollowness okay her heart is hollow right now bapu's slight figure had worked staff in hand over a large part of india with a stick in hand gandhi ji worked the entire india multiple times not only one time and it is said that if we count how may, how much uh, way how much length gandhi ji has uh covered in his lifetime it would be the two times the world's uh, expansion to work is to make slow progress now gandhi ji believed that to work to not to run but to work is to make slow progress and so we need to be uh, uh in work we need to be in balance through work so if we work we would be in balance so working is a slow progress and is is it is slow development and we never should stop we never should uh get anyhow uh, restricted from working so we must continue working it is to think with clarity and closely look at all that is around you from small insect to the horizon in the distance moreover to work was often the only way open to the average india indian so i said before and that working is simply the signifier of common person the working class person who can't afford to travel in different uh, vehicles but only work all right so working is reflection of the simple average indian lifestyle okay so gandhi ji was the representative of the common po- people the commoners okay he never accepted luxurious life all right so working had a special meaning for gandhi ji and his followers it required no vehicle except his own body and cost him nothing but his energy so to work no vehicle no cost is needed only the body of a person its own body his own body is needed gandhi ji gandhi ji took this necessity as he took much that was common place and transformed it into joyful effort so gandhi ji took working as a necessity and he made it a common place common place means you can see the meaning here ordinary and and transformed it into a joyful effort so he to him working is a joyful effort okay so we have completed the first two parts and now we would complete the third unit some days after the funeral a special train took gandhi ji's ashes to allahabad so after the funeral after a few days gandhi ji's ashes were taken to allahabad by a special train so the train was arranged by the government of india by the newly formed government of india because the father of the nation is no more so the special train took the ashes of gandhi ji to allahabad the compartment was decked with flower it was decorated the compartment of the train was decorated with flowers people on the train sang bhajans bhajans is a traditional indian song okay people did not weep anymore for they could feel gandhi ji's presence amid the flowers and the songs so gandhi ji's presence was rejuvenated by the bhajans the songs okay and the flowers so they tried to rejuvenate they tried to create the figure in front of them by the song by the uh, appraisals the praise of gandhi ji all right at every station sorrowful crowds lifted uh, sorry sorrowful crowds filled the platform so in every station a number of people gathered to 
give their uh, respect to the father of the nation and they all were very much hurt they were all very much sorrow sorrowful people okay they filled the platform so the entire journey was covered the entire stations okay the the many stations were there in between allahabad to delhi everywhere we can find a crowd okay the crowd filled the stations and they were very much uh, in pain amid sung songs and prayers the train reached allahabad so with songs and prayers the train reached allahabad the ashes were emerged in the ganges where a huge crowd had gathered at the bank so the crowd gathered and the ashes the remainings of gandhi ji that was drowned in ganges that was emerged in ganges afterwards we all went back to delhi and after that the the writer with other people came back to delhi back in delhi i felt at sea so when she came back to delhi she thought that she is in the sea she is in a complete emptiness she is in the hollowness right i had not directly worked with gandhi ji gone to prison at his call or made any significance for my country a uh, sac- sacrifice not significant sacrifice for my country so uh, the writer is saying that i never worked personally with gandhi ji and never went to prison for any kind of uh, freedom fight right and also never sacrificed anything that can make a significant contribution to the country but yes she is feeling also very empty my sisters and i and other young people like me had been merely on lookers so uh, the writer is very much confessing and she is confessing here that she like other young people just looked at the freedom fighting they never contributed young people often uh, feared to participate in this kind of political things this kind of kind of uh, fightings because they are very much concerned about what would be in their career right what would be in their future so she never actively participated in any activity related to gandhi ji and she never worked never made any sacrifice never uh, went to prison right with gandhi ji but yes she uh, felt at sea she felt that something is lost she felt the hollowness after the death of gandhi i felt i had grown up within a magic circle so she thinks that the people around her they are magical with bapu's passing away i feel the magic circle had vanished leaving me unprotected now gandhi ji had created a magic circle because he was the powerful personality who was the guardian of india okay and he had the aura that he can guide everybody in any kind of crisis because he was a person who uplifted right people from in uh, from dependence and made india independent helped to make india independent right so he had the aura of the guardian and he was the power of the young people that yes we have a father like figure we have a guide true guide who can give us the true guidance in need so that is something that made the people in crisis after the death of gandhi ji and they were in the unprotected uh, situation so that is what is expressed by our narrator with an effort i roused myself i asked myself had bapu lived and died for nothing so she asked herself that had bapu lived and died for nothing is there any significance of the life of bapu ji gandhi ji or the death of gandhi ji how could i so easily lose courage when he was no longer there my values were not so weak millions of people would have been ordinary folk but for bapu he brought them out of indifference and awakened them to one another's suffering what if now bap is gone we were still there young strong and proud to bear his banner before us now she is saying that gandhi ji is a human being and he is about to die so today or tomorrow he had to die so whatever gandhi ji is no more but his ideologies his beliefs his philosophies gandhian philosophies everything is among us 
we are the four viewers of his ideas so we would carry forward we would take forward the banner of gandhi ji because we have belief in our own faith in our own strongness and in our own beliefs right bapu had passed away but his india would continue to live in his children now bapu ji is no more but he would live forever in his children okay so this is a very beautiful writing where the death of bapu ji and the after effects are discussed i think you have learned you have enjoyed the lesson and i hope that in the next videos in my next updates you would learn a lot so please do subscribe the channel it is your task it is my uh, feedback from you that yes you have learned something you have enjoyed and you have subscribed the channel like the video and share it with your classmates and friends thank you so much my name is abril mukhopadhyay Bye bye for now meet you in the next video